Chef Coat Magazine is pleased to present cinnamon apple pork with country mashed potatoes and zucchini yellow squash carrot medley. The apples and the carrots are very similar processes. I like to use the baby carrots. Please be patient when working with sugar. Low heat is essential to preventing the burning of the product. Simmer the carrots just until starting to soften about five to seven minutes. They will continue to cook to perfection after removed from the heat. Just let them sit, covered, vented slightly, until ready to serve. The apples have to be peeled and the center or the core must be removed. Be careful to clean and segment the apples into approximate one inch sections. Simmer just until soft. The Jeanne Gold apple will semi emulsify creating its own thick sauce. However, you don't want to overcook the product. You want to keep the segments as intact as possible. The zucchini and yellow squash need to be laid out flat. It's important to lay down a thin layer of butter and place the squash and zucchini in the pan or on the griddle. Season the vegetables with the herbs and the salt and pepper. Turn the vegetables after a couple of minutes. You'll notice that they are starting to slightly cook around the edges. Once you turn the vegetables, please lightly season again. The zucchini and yellow squash will only cook between three and five minutes in total. It's important that you don't overcook them. Remove them from the heat and carefully layer them on a service plate. Hold on the side until ready to serve. The country mashed potatoes are a Chef Coat magazine favorite. The potatoes must be washed thoroughly, cut to be sure that the center is wholesome and in no way inedible, and trimmed of any eyes or imperfections. It's very important to clean, cut, and trim all of your potatoes. Bring to a boil until very tender and soft to the touch. Drain very well. White pepper is the secret to that good old fashioned flavor, however it is a powerful spice so use it sparingly and add more only in little pinches and only after mixing well and retasting the product remember too much milk will make your potatoes runny and too much butter it'll just give it an off yellow color the chops should be seasoned right before they are cooked again a thin layer of butter between the chop and the preheated pan or griddle it's important that that pan is hot go ahead and brown both sides of the chop place it in a non-stick sprayed baking pan and bake the chops for approximately 14 to 18 minutes. It's important to check the doneness of the meat next to the bone. It takes the longest to cook because the bone insulates the connective tissues and the proteins from the heat. Just pull the chopped meat away from the bone gently and look to see if it's still pink and raw looking. 160 degrees traditionally is the internal temperature of well done meat. However with chops it's so much easier to use your eyes, your fingers and your sense of what is edible. If you're not sure just cook it a little more but don't burn it. The plating process is simple. Make sure all the food is hot. First a scoop of finished mashed potatoes. Then fold the zucchini and yellow squash together in a heart shape. The point just touching the mashed potatoes. And on opposite sides insert the classic candied carrots. Gently lean the finished chop against the potatoes taking care not to smash them down. Finish the dish by topping the chop with the cinnamon apples. Please again they are really juicy so please drain the liquid completely from the apples back into the pan before you put the portion onto the chop. Seriously, or in 10 seconds or so, the entire plate will be a mess. And there it is, Chef Coat Magazine recommends cinnamon apple pork.